Hey everybody, it's me, Kay, and welcome back to Kay Plays Two Worlds. We've run into some technical difficulties for a few days, but I'm back now. Two Worlds is not the easiest game to record, unfortunately. But when you look in the eyes of this great hero, how could you how could you ever give up? I know I couldn't. This is a man of heroism. It's a man of action. It's a man of quests. Mostly quests. Which we have several of. But first, we need to go down here. It's good to see you still in one piece, friend. You seem to be in fine fettle. Farid, I should have known you would end up in a place like this. So the society finally had enough of you, eh? How true. My future in the society looks bleak. Is your research such a problem then? No, my friend, quite the opposite. But certain people just cannot work with a genius. I have assembled a perfect copy of a genuine activator. It is something radical. And gnarly. What do you mean? Ancient teleport sites like this one behind me only function with special activators. Each teleporter has its own activator. Unfortunately, we have only found a few of these elven wonders, but if my prototype works, then we shall not need them. A few more tests and it will be ready. Well, here you are, so you may as well assist me, just for old time's sake. Take this activator and activate the neighboring site. These things send a message here when activated, and I need to be here to receive it. For you, surely. Where is the site? I will mark it plainly on your map. So apparently these two have quite a history. Two Worlds guy must like him a lot because he offered to do this for free, which is highly unusual for Two Worlds guy. But, uh, let's ask him a little bit more. He's actually a likable character. The society found out that the orcs invaded because of religion. The orcs and religion? Hard to believe somehow. It is said that a mysterious holy man is going among the tribes, prophesying the return of Aziral. Bah, superstition. Didn't the orcs nail him to the gates of Gorgamar, like they did with all those false prophets before? I do not know, but I do know that the tribes have united for the first time in history. This war is the most serious conflict to erupt in 300 years. Go cautiously, friend. Be cautious. Alright, well this seems so important that we should probably just go do it and forget about Broomhill for the moment. It's not very far away. A lag there. Two Worlds is a hard game to record. So you'll have to bear with me when I have a little frame rate drops. I can't even fix it on my stellar computer. And I've tried for a week. But I'm still going to record this game all the way through. Hey! Guys with bows suck. I hate them. They're very damaging and they run away from you constantly. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! Uh-oh! Oh! He stopped! <laughs> they, sometimes they twitch a little, I guess, when they're <laughs> like bugs. What's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's got a lockpick. Nice. Mostly junk on Groms. They're not known for their great loot. But I'll take what I can get. And a chest. Let's have a look. Hmm. That's a decent sword. Decent. A lot of decent things, but none of them particularly stellar. Okay. Just this guy right here, though, man. He's got that arm out and everything. It's like the rock's trying to eat him. Just suck him up like a piece of spaghetti. Hey, more groms. They're chopping wood. And now they're chopping me. And I'm chopping them. Ah, social dynamics. Ow! This is why I hate guys with bows. Come here! Oh, 
There. I know he says have at you, but it sounds like he's offering them a delicious Mountain Dew. He's like, have a do. Oh, man. What is this? The 507th Monster Division is just a symbol. Just all this random junk. Oh, gosh. I wish I could have a do now. I don't want to fight this. Well, some of them are hitting each other, which is nice. Oh, 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 e u o, e u o, uh oh. <laughs> You're a big unruly mob. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be quite the challenge. <laughs> Grom's getting old. I know how you feel, Grom. He still wants me so bad. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Oh, that got him. He did a little weird front flip. It's like they all die like they're stunt actors in a in some shooting movie and then... Like they flip over rails and stuff unnecessarily. Grobs die with really exaggerated deaths usually. This fight is gonna be half the episode. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, darn it. No. Got it. Stick and move. Oh no, Ghost Grump. Ah, uh, Ghost Grump. Oh, oh, greet the gods. Hello, gods. So much for Ghost Grub. This is messed up, man. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. Uh oh. Two worlds, 50 monsters. This should be the surest proof of two worlds, guys. Sheer badassery, though. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. Don't chain knock me down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Heels. There's one down. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we're getting them, we're getting them! Down to three! Woo. Oh no! Don't get knocked down! Oh! Knockdowns are bad news. Can't jump back while you're being knocked down. Okay, one more hit and that middle boy should die. Yeah. Now the wolf. There we go. Yes! Heal me. There we go. Look at the carnage left behind by two worlds, guy. Let's have a look. At the carnage. Loot all the butts. Always loot the butts. Loot the Grom's butts, too. Hey, a spell card. That Grom has a spell card. Well, that's kind of cool. Let me see here. Shield of Magic. It's a protection shield that converts mana to HP. 
Wow, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I should probably explain magic now. Uh, this, uh, this is your magic menu here. You have three spells at any given time that you have active. And each of those has three slots for boosters. These are booster cards. Spell booster, for example, increases the power level of spells. Mana saver reduces the amount of mana used in casting them. Now, my heal is 51 mana, so if I stick this mana saver in here, it's now 41. That's a lot more affordable. And, however, we're going to stick that in mana shield because mana shield costs a crap ton. Uh, 40 fire damage with this booster, it becomes 60. That seems a little bit better. So, we've got some spells. We've got them boosted. Let's get in this chest. Let's see. At least he didn't say, let's have a look. I know where that teleporter is, so I'm making my way there first before we go to Broomhill. Little bit of lag there. Ooh. What's that? It's a plant. Oh! Hey! Hey there! <laughs> Bear! Oh, his damage, if he hits me, will be unbearable. Won't be able to bear it. Thankfully, I have a weapon. I'm not fighting him barehanded. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at fighting these, so you can all bear witness to my skill at it. Two World's guy just laughed at a bear, by the way. I want to point that out. Two World's guy's fighting a bear and laughing at it. Well, at least it's day again. Oh! Bandits! Actual... Actual real-life bandits. Drop it. Not Groms. But bandits. This is new. Oh! Don't want to get hit. Nope. These guys, that one with the green glowing club and the armor seems rather formidable. We don't want to mess with him too much. Woo! Oh yeah! That was a good move. Oh, that doesn't even phase them. Whoa. What the heck did I just shoot at? Alright. Now it's you and me, bandit. It's not very good, it's more like a badness. Oh, yeah. We gotta level up, too. Alright, well, clearly my HP is falling a bit behind, so we'll put two points in that. Nice even 400 health. Two points in strength, and a little dexterity. Can't do lock picking just yet. We got any strong hand we can take? Yes, good. And fire magic with my other one. And let's loot some bandits. Start with these guys over here, I'll save him for last. Ooh, a lot of money on bandits, apparently. Stripped him clean. Okay, this guy. Gotta do a little bit of squeezing. Oh, those are actually different shields. That's basic wooden shield, that's round wooden shield. Alright, understood. Hey, some squeezable trousers. Nice! Oh, yeah. That helped. Hmm. Is anything in my inventory currently squeezable? Squeezable. Doesn't seem like it. Any of these clubs? I got 50 different clubs and none of them are the same with darn one? Really? Ugh. Okay, well, most of this stuff is garbage anyway. Oh, hey, there's something I can squeeze. There we go. I want to check this guy out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
he's he's got some pretty real stuff on him. Squeeze. Those boots are way nicer than the ones I had. We're gonna equip those. Apparently, no, we're not. There. Now we're gonna do equip those. What? Still not enough weight? I need less weight. Okay. There you go. Now I have less weight. Haha, <laughs> bite me. I'm just dumping this stuff on the ground so I can reclaim it later. There. One of this I can. There we go. Those bandits have a chest somewhere? They usually do. Yep, there's bandit chest. Hmm. Those are some absolutely stellar pants. And that helmet is way nicer than the one I had. I'll store this junk in the chest. That'll work. Much nicer helmet. These pants are quite nice. We're gonna squeeze them together. Yeah. Replace my old pants. I'll sacrifice the lightning protection enchantment for the sake of that. Just dropping some junk off. I'll go recover that other stuff. Just a loot hoover. Just, just sucks it all up. Two worlds guy knows what adventuring's really about. Oh, that just drops it on the floor. Get the, open the chest. Let's see. There. That should do for now. We'll pick it back up on the way back. Rabbit. Speaking of chests, here's another one. Just an abandoned one. Hmm. Oh, hey, some good stuff in here. I'll take all that. Give it here. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one. Bear. Oh man, another bear. And I'm all out of bear puns this time. I barely had any. I guess I had the barest essentials of those puns. kill this thing and I'm gonna leave it there just unburied there Say hello to death <laughs> hello death let's see loading transitions This game is like eight years old and it still lags. Oh, new computer. Man. Hey, a horse. And Groms. Also Groms. Always also Groms. At least these ones don't speak Spanish at me anymore. Those ones in the first episode that said Donde Esta. Oh. I want to shield Brenda. Come on, Groms. You're not particularly interesting or funny to fight. Well, everything's kind of funny to fight in those, but. Uh, 
That's what you get. Two worlds guy stuff. Take all this worthless garbage that you own. Oh, there's a squeezable Yathalin sting. Let's squeeze it. All right. Squeezed my main weapon. That's always a joy. And that's another good thing, is just running into a squeezable copy of your weapon just further cements the fact that squeezing is a great mechanic and was just a great design choice in this fantastic game. I'm gonna ride this horse. Here's one thing that Two Worlds did that Oblivion failed to do. I can fight on horseback. It's kind of wonky, but I can do it. However, steering a horse is quite a challenge in this. Oh, oh boy. We're just gonna use it to ride past these reapers. Cause I don't fear the reapers, but I don't want to fight them much oh, either. Cause you scoundrels! <laughs> you dirty rats! Okay, I, I fear I have little choice but to engage the reapers. Well, my horse is gonna run up that mountainside now, so. Oh my gosh! Whoa! I want little to do with this. Oh man, come on. Can't we talk about this? Trying to single one out and fight it, but they're making that very hard. Ugh. The more of them I kill, the easier it will get. Come on. I need to deal some real damage and kill one of these. Oh, I can't stand still long enough to cast my heal. There. I want that one in the center of mass. There. Oh! No! I'm thinking no. Drink a potion, there. Whew. There's one dead. Two. Oh! Another potion. Yeah, Ferret neglected to mention the Reapers everywhere. I'm betting that's more likely why he didn't go. How does the average villager survive in this world? How do they get around when there's monsters every five feet that are really strong? Whew. Chugging those potions. All right, I can beat one of them handily. There. Ooh, ooh. Okay. What's that? It's a reaper. Where were the other two? There are some more reapers around here. I want their loot. What is that? Oh, it's a snake. Okay. Oh, there's one. And there should be another Reaper laying around somewhere. Oh, there he is. No. Yeah, that's the one. Come on, horse. You glitchy horse. Get over here. Why are my pets in K Plays games always glitchy? Nope. Oh, tree. Nope. Oh, horse. Okay. He turned around complete. Where? Okay. Now this is the nice thing about this. These are teleport pads. And they let you fast travel. So let's uh, turn this in with Ferret. You have returned. I see you have successfully activated a second teleport. Wonderful. This activator is a very useful device. It will help you in your travels. I can make another one for myself. Thanks. So, your work is finished? 
Oh no, this was only the first step. Now I can start my true work. A teleport stone. A teleport stone? What is that? It's a small portable teleport. It enables you to access any old teleport no matter where you are. So if I had a stone like that, I would not have to go searching for the nearest teleport? Yes, exactly. I would very much like to have such a stone. Uh, how can I help you? I have most materials here, but I need magnesite to finish the work. I will bring you magnesite. Bring two if you wish to have a teleport stone for yourself as well. Good luck. Okay, so Two Worlds guy is quite the opportunist, as you can see. A little bit more on him here. He's already just got the ability to use these wondrous relics that let him warp around the world. He's already like, hmm, I would like one that makes it even easier. So we need to go find some magnesite for Farid so we can get our own teleport stones. In the meantime, however, there's a society shop here. Society's the mages guild, by the way, basically. Welcome to my shop. How can I help you? It goes well with me, in spite of those orcs. All right, let's see what he's got for sale. These guys are always just a pleasure to work with because they have magical cards and other good things like rings with 103 fire protection. They're they're quite nice. I'm going to sell him my bear claws. Junkie club. Reaper muscles. Rattlesnake rattle. Really important. All this junky old armor that I don't need. Boar bits. Any plants. I'm never going to use the bow. They're just not very good. It's just not good enough for what I want. I'm sword and shield pretty much. Or two-hander. So that bomb. Spurge. So the wolf heart. Uh, okay. Let's see what this guy's got. He's got a firebolt. Take that. But here's the other fun thing. You can squeeze cards together. And now it's even better. Now it deals 80 damage instead of 70. Take that octagon spell. That's a summonable pet. Which I will now replace with that because he is kind of cool. He can help me out. He'll help me out in fights. He'll back me up. That's about all I want from him today. So now, we'll take the teleport, or the teleport as they all seem to call it, and we'll go pick up our loot from the chest because we want all the money. See a bear over there, we can leave him alone for now. Where was that chest? It's back here. It's easy to get kind of turned around in two worlds. Yeah, it was up here, where I fought the bandits, and that was before the empty caravan chest. Yeah, here it is. So, how about them Dodgers? Look, okay, get out. Now we just take a jog back to the teleport. And we will sell our loot again for a little more money. This is quite convenient, as you can see. It helps a lot with streamlining the looting and selling process in the game. Welcome to the Society Guild Shop. I want what you got, and what you got is an infinite amount of money for me. Nope, want that. in pretty good shape financially now. With our 4,000 gold, that'll last us a little while. Hit up the teleporter here. Do, do, and go to... There's Broomhill, so we want this teleporter. 
All right. So next time, we'll continue the journey to Broomhill, hopefully without any more distractions. Good night, everybody. And always remember, keep having looks.